and welcome to the All Star for well, the Open the All Star for the seventh season of the Verizon NASCAR Cup Series. First ever time that we're going to have an All Star for this series. Going to be a 20 lap race with 13 cars. Cars currently in on wins. Win a race with four now, and then we will really get into the All Star. Race winners, Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, Eric Almarola, Kurt Boyer, Denny Hamlin, Parker Klingerman, David Reagan, and Brad Kozlowski all in off the game. We have 13 cars to do without the game. Eight of them will be in. Command to get the engine started. So, like I mentioned, the top eight will be in no stages or anything in this open you have to get in on where you finish no stages or anything to get in jimmy johnson qualifies on pole and the benedetto is outside truex third and that will be jones in fourth suarez fifth sixth Klingerman seventh is castle or suarez now stenhouse Eighth Castle, ninth Blaney, tenth Busher rounded out the field, rounded out that top ten. A couple more cars out there. As we enter the restart zone, green flag. We are racing at the open at Evergreen. Jimmy Johnson pulling away with the lead. They're sideways. Truex in the wall. Truex up into the wall off turn number four. Down into turn three. No caution. Truex saves it. They're all stacking up in the middle of the field. Look at this 37 trying to make up some spots. Jimmy Johnson pulling away with the lead. As they, oh, Busher gets into the back of the 12, trying to move him out of the groove. Bowman getting hit by his teammate. Here comes Busher to the inside of Blaney. Moves him out of the groove. Bowman with a chop block on his teammate. A lot of bump and runs are going to happen at this track. You'll see these guys really like to bunch up. Three wide, now they're back, they're wrecking. Bowman puts Castle and Blaney up in the wall. I believe that will be the first caution of the day. Yes, caution is out. First caution. Jimmy Johnson continuing to lead Jones up in a second. Klingerman third, Suarez fourth, and Stenhouse rounds out the top five. So Bowman puts a couple cars in the wall. We'll see how that wreck started coming off turn two. So it all started entering turn number three. Bowman makes a send on the inside, trying to cut down in front of his teammate, which is Byron. And as they come off of the corner... Uh, Blaney gets stuck on the outside, and they go three wide, and Bowman just keeps pushing them up the racetrack, and they ended up starting to hit the wall, and that just sends all of them around. De Benedetto nowhere to go, runs into the back of Blaney. Truex involved as well, he hits, and Castle ended up almost going over under caution, so good avoidance, so not good for him. So now under caution, nobody pits. We're probably going to be able to make it to the end on one tank of gas. And we will get to you with the green in just a few moments. So getting ready to go green. Nobody pits under caution. All the cars are still in the race, but some of them are going to have damage. These back three looking to be in danger, as well as Truex and to Benedetto, all with damage. So they're probably going to have to a bit of a struggle. Pace car peels off. Jimmy Johnson to lead us to the green flag. We pass the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. We'll race it again in the open. And here comes... Here comes that 96 of Klingerman with a really good restart to the inside of Jones. And he already clears him off turn two. The Benedetto losing spots in the back. Truex up in front of him. Here comes Castle. On this restart, the field really likes to bunch up, so they probably will get close to wrecking at the very least. Truex on the inside getting hit from Castle. Castle trying to move him out of the groove. Can't quite do it, although he did get really close to moving him out of the groove. It's, these spots don't even matter. It's only the top eight that gets in. So they're just trying, basically fighting for scraps. 
Meanwhile, for the lead with 10 laps to go, Jimmy Johnson continuing to lead with a pretty sizable gap on Klingerman. Down into turn three. And off turn four, Jimmy Johnson has led every lap so far. We did a couple test races. Johnson seemed to be really quick at this track. So we'll see how that goes. Meanwhile, towards the back of the field, still fighting for scraps, although Truex still seems to be fairly on pace. Power and aerodynamics doesn't matter too much at this track because it is a really small track. Off turn number four, Castle trying to pass De Benedetto. Truex catching up to these top spots. Truex and Bush are currently on the cutoff spots right now as we enter turn three. Jimmy Johnson continues to lead. If he can just hold on, he might be able to lead every lap in the open, which is definitely showing that he has some dominant performance. Busher still on that cutoff spot, losing a couple positions. Right on the edge of maybe falling out, and Jones, who restarted second, is all the way back in seventh, and looks like he might drop back into eighth. Jones falls out to eighth, and he's gonna have to fight his teammate Truex for the cutoff spot. Can Truex get to him and make it into the show? have to see down off turn number four five laps to go for Jimmy Johnson I believe it was yes he is still leading single file between these top guys that a contact him further back Lindy got moved up the track by De Benedetto all these guys in the back are still fighting for scraps Truex is the closest of them that might be able to get a spot in the show four to go yeah, Truex is hoping that those guys could maybe hold each other up by going side by side a bunch. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Truex still falling back. Still running down the front stretch with three to go now. Truex trying everything he can to keep up. He's running slightly slower than Jones. Jones just ran his best lap of the race. Meanwhile, Jimmy Johnson continuing the lead. Trying to win his way into the show. Two laps to go at Evergreen for the All-Star Open presented by Verizon. Remember, this is not a points race or anything. This is just an exhibition race for this little fake NR2003 million bucks. Down off turn four. Truex continuing to fall back on the on the cutoff spot. Jones and Busher look like they're going to be safe. The story up front, the battle for the lead on the final lap. It looks like everybody's going to try to take it easy, but it's going to be Jimmy Johnson who wins the All-Star Open and wins his way into the show. Klingerman in second, third is Suarez, fourth is Stenhouse fifth is going to be um, Byron six is Larson seventh is Busher and the final car that makes it into the show is going to be Eric Jones all the rest of these guys are in off of wins that aren't that didn't have to race the open so now we will move on to the open We'll be back with that in just a moment. So as we prepare for green 30 laps in the All-Star compared to the Open, which was only 20 laps, Kyle Larson will be on pole with Keselowski that is outside, Harvick and Reagan, Elliott and Hamlin, Johnson and Stenhouse, as well as more. So who's going to be taking home a million bucks here today at Il Evergreen? Pace car on pit road. And into the restart zone. Green flag. We're racing for the all-star at Evergreen.
into three and four. Three wide for a couple, couple positions. Down off turn four. Lap one will be led by pole sitter Larson. Harvick up in a second. Reagan looking for third on Kislowski. Everybody stacking up in the middle of the field. They're making contact. Hamlin on the wall. Big hits for, or for uh, Byron and Hamlin. I do not believe. No, that is no caution. They saved it. Although they did take some pretty heavy damage. Both of them are going to stay on track. Larson continues to lead. Reagan in third. Harvick on his bumper for sec in second. Trying to get the lead away from Larson. Johnson up in a fourth. Dominated the open. Ran such a fast race. Led every lap in the open. Big, big stack up in the middle of the field. Everybody trying to move each other out of the way and get as many positions they can. It doesn't... If you finish second, it doesn't matter. You either win, go big or go home. Three wide coming off turn number four. Elliott almost in the wall. They are three wide way back in the field. Kligerman trying to make up positions, hitting Suarez up the racetrack. They're going to save it coming off the corner. No other spins elsewhere. Going into three. Klingerman. Whoa, Elliott hit Klingerman. They're three wide and almost four wide. Elliott hitting Klingerman down the front, and they're going to wreck. Klingerman around on the front stretch. Will that be a caution? Yes, it will. They're going to race back. Kyle Larson, the leader. Kevin Harvick in second. Harvick trying to run a lane higher. Maybe trying to avoid some debris from that wreck. Caution is out. Larson first, Harvick second, Reagan third, and Johnson fourth. First caution of the day. In fifth, it will be Jones who almost got eliminated in the open. Looks like they got their car working for the All-Star. And anyways, let's look at how that wreck started with Elliott and Klingerman as they went into turn three. So all of this started as they went into turn three, Klingerman riding the bumper as Suarez tries to boot him out of the way. Elliott tries to make a crossover on Klingerman and kind of forces it partway four wide, but not really. Klingerman just keep, Elliot just keeps leaning on him in the corner. They could have saved that, but Elliot just kept leaning on him, coming off the corner, and around they go. Klingerman into the inside wall with minor damage. This could be a lucky break for Byron and Hamlin, who hit the wall not long ago. And they hit that little opening in the wall, which made, made, amplified their hits. So currently under caution, Klingerman in last, Hamlin, and uh, Hamlin and Elliott are actually, or Hamlin and Byron, excuse me, are actually up in the field further. Keslowski also pit, Elliott and Klingerman both decided to come down pit road, but Hamlin and Byron did not. So let's accelerate to the green flag. Green flag this time by now. Larson leads over Harvick in second, Reagan third, Johnson fourth, and Jones is in fifth. All of these guys have a possible chance at the million bucks. Pace car on pit road. Preparing for the green as we per near the restart zone and enter the restart zone. Green flag in the air for the second time today in the All-Star. Harvick looks inside, gets blocked. Larson trying to cut him off. Harvick looking low. Harvick dumps him for the lead. Around goes Larson. Here, Reagan up into the top spot. Caution, I believe, has come out now. Yes, it has. And I believe Jones might have gotten hit as well. Larson gets spun out of the lead. Don't even have to go back. Don't have to put a transition in or anything. Jones got... So first incident, let's have a look at this. Jones gets moved out of the way by uh, Busher, who continues to lead on him and turns up the racetrack a little bit and dumps him. Jones smacks the wall. Elliot also was sideways back there. I want to look at that real quick. 
Yeah, they went in there. Keselowski just turns up into Elliot. Elliot really sideways. And Elliot with an amazing save. Good job keeping that race car straight. But the big story, the biggest story out of all of this is coming off of turn number four, or not turn four, turn two, excuse me. Larson gets completely dumped by Harvick. Harvick tried to spin him out for the lead, and it resulted in him losing more spots than he gained, dropping back to third when he could have stayed in second behind Larson and been in a better position. Larson goes around. Any pit stops, possibly? Does not look like they're going to be pitting. So the leader under caution flag, David Reagan leads over Johnson, who is second, and then third is the culprit of the accident. Kevin Harvick dumps him. And Busher, who dumped Jones, moves up into fifth. A lot of dirty moves in this race. You can see people bringing out the worst in themselves. Since it's the All-Star, they got nothing to lose. Only to gain. As we fast forward to the green. Green flag back in the air. Johnson gets moved out of the way by Harvick. Harvick to the inside of Johnson. Johnson did not get going. Losing positions. That car was dominant in the open, but the open doesn't mean everything. These guys that had the chance to run, that even though they didn't run, they might have some faster cars. With momentum from race wins previous. Reagan pulling away. Busher. Busher looking inside on Harvick. Bit of contact. The battle for second is on. Everybody trying to get desperate and maybe catch Reagan, but they don't have much time. Only 11 to go. And Reagan is looking a lot faster than these guys since they're all battling for back place positions. Johnson sideways into the wall. Up and into the wall is Johnson. Are we going to have a caution? Caution is out. Reagan will lead them back to the caution. 10 to go at the line. Harvick up into second. Busher third. And Stenhouse ends up dumping Johnson. Around he goes. So as they went into turn number one, Johnson fading back on the outside. Stenhouse moves him a little bit, but instead of trying to jump on the inside or maybe let off, he just keeps leaning on him. And just spins him down into traffic. Johnson locks it up, loses grip, slams the wall. Pretty hard hit for him. Everybody manages to save it. So that's how that went. Under caution now, it will be Reagan continuing to lead. No pit stops. And quick acceleration to the green flag. Preparing for green this time now. Reagan... Finds himself in a lucky position after Harvick ended up losing second. And Larson, the dominant car from the pole, loses the lead after Harvick dumped him coming off a of turn two as we saw earlier. Pace car onto pit road. Down the front stretch we go. Harvick second, Busher third, Boyer fourth, Stenhouse in fifth now after dumping Johnson. And entering the restart zone, green flag in the air again. Five to go. Any cautions now would end the race. Reagan with a comfortable lead on the rest of the field. Harvick is clear with second. No challengers. The battle is on for third and fourth. Everybody spreading out in the back of the field. Johnson trying to cut his way through. Almero on the back bumper of Busher to his inside. Three wide there for what looks like fifth. It is on for the lead. Contact between Amarola and Busher coming off turn two. Suarez may be looking to make a move on Amarola. Can't do it. Can Harvick catch Reagan? Harvick ran a slightly faster lap that time. Actually, no, that lap was slower. With three laps to go at Evergreen. Down into turn number three. Reagan with the lead. Suarez trying to catch up in six now. Stuart Haas trying to win the first ever All-Star, as is the 38. Two laps to go at Evergreen. This will be to decide it. Will we have an amazing battle for the win at the end? Harvick is there on the bumper. The white flag is in the air for David Reagan. 
Reagan finds himself in a lucky position after Harvick spins out the 42. Down the back stretch for the final time. Will Harvick try to send it? He will not. Off turn number four, David Reagan will win the first ever All-Star and will get the million bucks. Here in Monroe, Washington, checkered flag for the 38 team in front row motorsports. Going to victory lane in the exhibition race at the All-Star and a million bucks in the bank for Reagan, front row motorsports and the 38. Harvick finishes second with Boyer third, Stenhouse fourth, and Almirola fifth. Three of the Stuart Haas cars finish in the top five. But obviously, that doesn't matter because none of them won the race. And that will be all for the All-Star at Evergreen. Kyle Larson going to victory lane. In the, or not Kyle Larson, excuse me. David Reagan going to victory lane in the first ever All-Star. And an upset, not what they wanted from Larson's team leading the entire race. And ends up getting dumped late into the race and loses the lead. And it wasn't even for anything because Harvick didn't end up winning the race. But anyways, next race will be an actual points race, which will be at Pocono. So catch you then. This has been coverage of the first ever annual All-Star at Evergreen Speedway. We will see you on the next installation of this series. Catch you then.